Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. According to an annual browser security report recently posted and published by Layer X, which I'll leave a link to in the description, in this report, they have identified nine major threats, which are the most prominent um, threats when it comes to browser security for last year of 2022. Now, this report, um, in this report, they mainly focus on enterprise environments. But um, the first seven out of nine major threats identified can also be applied to home environments. So because um, we do, do talk about browsers, browser updates, security threats, and because most viewers on this channel are home users, just to have a look at the top seven major threats that have, that, that have been identified when it comes to uh, uh, issues that can affect your browser security. Now, um, the first is, and the top a major threat is and are phishing attacks, spelled P-H-R-S-H-I-N-G, as many of you would know. And that's spelled with a P but pronounced with an F, phishing. Now, in case you're unaware, a phishing attack um, is basically where the bad guys, um, so to speak, um, try to get you to reveal your personal information where they then want to try to steal your money, your identity, your credit card numbers, your bank information. And they do this by pretending to be legitimate websites. So you could see a legitimate looking URL in your address bar. You click on that and that link installs malware as an example such as ransomware. And that's just a brief overview as to what a phishing attack is all about. And uh, the reason it's the reason phishing attacks are number one on the list, um, according to the report, is because phishing attacks have increased by 1,100 percent from 2021 to 2022. And one way you can try to avoid phishing attacks um, is just to try and stay away from dodgy websites. You know, don't go fiddling around in dodgy websites where this is very common and can um, affect you a lot quicker then staying on legitimate websites. So phishing attacks, number one on the list. Number two, um, malware that is distributed using file sharing systems. And file sharing systems would be uh, the likes of Google Drive, Dropbox, um, iCloud, Microsoft OneDrive, just to mention a couple of the more common uh, services. And uh, to try and avoid any malware being distributed uh, using file sharing systems, um, it goes without saying, try and avoid lesser known services. Now, it doesn't mean that malware cannot be distributed using well-known services, but obviously um, staying away from lesser known services can decrease the amount of malware distributed. And then uh, number three on the, list, on the list, and this is a strange one, um, data leaking using personal browser profiles. So that's data leakage. And... Uh, um, your browser profile is the profile, obviously, that you are signed into your web browser with. And the report does indicate, though, that this mainly occurs for users who are connected to work browsers using a personal profile in the browser, which can uh, contribute to 29% of the data that is leaked. So obviously, yeah, it goes without saying, try and um, avoid signing into a work system or a work web browser using your personal profile. And then number four on the list, and number four is very close to my heart because you may have heard me say this um, a thousand times on the channel and I almost become repetitive when I say this. And number four uh, is outdated browsers. And I always say, make sure your browser is up to date because it is your fir first line of defense to the online world. So um, whatever web browser you are using, just double check that it is up to date. Uh, especially if there are um, browser updates rolling out. And uh, um, make sure it's up to date to the latest version and build because updating your browser can um, drastically decrease the number of security issues that are um, rolling out to any given uh, web browser or are exploited in any given web browser. So uh, outdated browsers, number four, make sure your web browser is up to date because it is, is your first line of defense to the online world. Number five, um, vulnerable passwords. And this goes without saying. Make sure um, that you are using and creating strong passwords. Um, try and create passwords where you've got different numbers, characters, capitals, smalls, um, digits, and so on. And don't create a password, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, whatever. And don't create a password saying admin or password. I mean, it goes without saying create 
and use strong passwords and also do not use the same password um, in all your online services. So vulnerable passwords, um, number five on the list. And then number six, unmanaged devices. Now, this is another one that's close to my heart. Make sure you check that your um, operating system, whatever operating system you are using, is up to date with the latest updates because this can indirectly affect your browser security and obviously can affect um, the security of any given operating system. So unmanaged devices. And also that means make sure that you regularly maintain your device. Make sure that you clean out junk and temporary files. Clean out your cookies. Uh, delete your browser's cache um, from time to time. Make sure your browser is and your operating system is maintained. And if you don't know how to do that, just do a search on the channel as I have posted quite a few videos on um, maintaining your browser and maintaining your Windows operating system. And then number seven for the purpose of today's video, high risk extensions. And this also goes without saying. And make sure that you download and install um, any extension or add-on in whatever web browser you are using from a reputable source. Um, don't download extensions that have got very bad reviews or you know, haven't got any reviews for that matter. And make sure you are downloading a good quality reputable extension from a well-known and high-rated uh, developer. So high-risk extensions, um, number seven on the list. So that's just the top seven um, major threats when it comes to... Um, browser security that was identified in that report by layer x for last year of 2022 and over and above um the the seven things you can do to try and avoid any security issues these security issues in your web browser and um, obviously um i would say that the number one uh, your number one priority is use and um, practice good computing habits so just practice good computing habits and stay away from dodgy websites so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one